that pick? Are you expecting a steal to two nothing, or is it gonna be a real dogfight on Nuke? Yeah, I just think it does. I don't care who you are, how good your mental is, how rock solid you are with uh, confidence. Uh, those are tough to to take on the chin and come back ten minutes later and and try and go again. They are extremely, extremely difficult to deal with. Vantage is certainly going to be tested here on Nuke. And for their sake, I just kind of hope that they get their Nuke CT side off to a, a good start. Because if it doesn't, then it's probably going to be more of the same. I'm really bullish on Vantage at the moment. Like, you know, once they get Night Raid back into the fold, and given how they contested the are pretty hard on Anubis, I wonder, you know, what the potential could be. And Nedic yeah. is sneaking in between the fog. Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's an important one to note as well. Like, let's not forget, they are playing with a sub party. Yep. Right? Like, uh, these guys, as I said, like, pre-game, the ceiling for them is kind of unable to see right now, if that makes sense. Like, it can go very high. And... Unfortunately, for a CT pistol, it's not gone too well. But yeah, it's going to be definitely a roster to keep your eyes on. Because, obviously, when they do get the sub out, and their actual five are in server, they probably are going to look much better than what we saw on Anubis, with all respect to mm -hmm. Meridians. So, yeah. Definitely going to be an interesting one to watch. And I guess for their sake right now, they're probably looking at this, you know. And they probably should look at this or should look at Anubis. Like, look, guys, we took Rooster to OT and we could have easily won. Like, if a few mm -hmm. things just went our way. You think about all those gamble stacks that didn't go their way is Omni yeah. Cheddar is unfortunately going to die. Um, yeah, I mean, that could have been easily Vantage's map. But here we are. Rooster have a 1-0 lead in map 2. They have a 1-0 lead in the best of 3. And they are 12 round wins away from securing that upper bracket final spot. A quick update from the other parts of uh, the brackets. It's uh, Greyhound on the match point versus Bad News Kangaroos. So it's mm -hmm. looking like it will be Bad News Kangaroos dropping and playing against the loser of this one and now of course Greyhound playing against the winner of the winner of this one. Yeah, I'm going to say overall that, that pistol death advantage. Very, like I got to say, they just weren't really aware of Nick sneaking through until towards the end. Also, double dink there. They self flash onto his TJP. That's not a good entry ASAP. Trying to force his way in. But there's just a the pistol there. It's just Vantage just let Nedic get behind enemy lines. And also it tricked the outside player as the outside player was just staring at Nedic not realizing that everyone else is also pushing. Angel holding trophy room and looks like they haven't given away any rifles yet. Only last player alive. Good danger on an off angle. Angel has to run a bit early. Omichel is not aware of that. He's trying to get to the end of round. He's been seen. And that's a double dink from Nedic. Second round on the board for Rooster. Yeah, strong start for Rooster, and now you can see the wind is in their sails for sure. Took them a bit of time to get going, especially Netic, as mm -hmm. you know, uh, we saw the 4K late on on Anubis as he really was starting to heat up, and well, it's no different here. 3-0 start for him, ASAP on four kills already, looking good right now for Rooster. Great nade from Skullhunter, it's going to do a Bit of damage, actually. Rooster fortunately pumped the brakes. Now Skull's got an MP9. He's going to work that outside. Caught a nade in his hand, and Chelios is going to nab him. He's actually caught a player in T at the vents as well, being Vision, but Vision, he's actually fired back and done a lot of damage. Now spot, spots one on Heaven being Viridian, but Chelios, he's confident. Spots another at Silo as well. Now you know it's an A stack. Romy with the flank. Drox needs to just last a couple more seconds, but he doesn't go for the wide swing. Romy coming in via Hunt, just waiting for that plant, but. Got to say, they just always had a sneaking feeling that he was lurking around. Yeah, you got to feel for Drox here, who is not going to be used to being on the back end of this 
um, as of recent. You know, he coming into this close qualifier, he was playing very well, and unfortunately, his day just has not started off as well as what he's been playing in the past week, two weeks or so. So, yeah, he could really do with, and to be honest, in terms of the entertainment value, we could really do with him starting to, you know, get into second and third gear here to make this one competitive because, yeah, again, if, if Jogs can, you know, put the team on his back, hypothetically, um, this could be, you know, extremely close. And also, they're already in that little hole already, given the fact that they're free nothing down on Nuke, on Nuke CT side. Definitely could be four. That's generally par score for Nuke. And Russo looking like they could get a bit more, but Rudin catches Chelios not looking downwards. And I think Chelios dropped his AK. Well, Rudin did pick it up, so I don't think it's close enough for him. Ooh, danger, bit of misutil there. Rux and Rudin crunching towards A main. They might think they've got a flank here, but there is a T roof player. The herd. Skull Hunter on the outside of Skull Hunter, one digs TJP. Can he get another one? Not danger to trade out. It's looking very problematic for Rooster now. I'm not sure which side they're going to, basically. Well. B site taken with not much defense. Omnichella, unfortunately, not going to do much with the Deagle with that sort of gunfight. They do have the M4 on Drox, which is certainly going to help them out a little. But, yeah, already you're 4 0 down on the best side of Nuke. You, you can't really be affording to eco too many more rounds really from here on out so this save with the m4 is going to be quite handy and now it's just a matter of desperation really it feels like already for vantage if they aren't to pick up the next coming into this map josh i am intrigued would you have uh imagined this was going to be uh i was probably gonna say probably like 13 7 or 6 yeah i think two rooster. i, I felt vantage yeah i think 13 7 rooster is pretty fair mm. yeah i could definitely see like a 13 6 as well we just know how good rooster well definitely how good rooster will on go yep she's in the leg shot into netic there Nick might just want to go in instead. And that's what he's going to do. Almost catch it. Dude, does catch it. No, he does, he does catch it in the end. TJ to trade. And TJ's just basically torn this side apart by himself. He's waiting for Overchella. TJP at, at Ninja. And Overchella goes down. They know Skull Hunter's outside. ASAP tries to challenge Skull Hunter. So to at least confirm that part of it. Chelios. Ooh, that smoke was not what he wanted. Trying to catch Skull Hunter on the way out. Skull Hunter's a checking mini. And oh, Chelios, that spray was not good, and Skull Hunter's got another. Yeah, trying to hunt Skull Hunter here. You'll be a bit careful as well with the hunt. In the fact that Skull Hunter could potentially retake this. Skull trying to escape. No, nah, will not escape. And the fifth round for a rooster as they take away all their guns once again. Five nothing for Rooster at the moment. I'm gonna say Vantage. Don't tell me they used everything po possible on that first map. Well, let's hope not. However, it is a fantastic start for Rooster, and the big. Star Fragger for Vantage in Anubis that was really opening up a lot of rounds. Both CT and T side for Vantage is yet to find a frag as of right now. However, Danger has not been lacking 
kills today as the new addition to the roster is certainly proving why and showing why he was picked up or v4 indeed he is showing reason why he was picked up in the end danger i'm gonna say he's had such an impact already Skull is pretty interesting position actually on the B bomb side. Just assume that B will probably get taken, so he's just playing ninja. Oh, I guess a rooster are poking and prodding. I don't think Nedic saw vision. I think vision got away just in time. Now oh, vision. Oh, I just can't get anything right there for vision. He got yeah. the opening pick on the danger, but he had the transport all right. But he just drilled against the door. It's just an over adjustment. Really unfortunate. And you could see the surprise when he flicks to the left that someone's yeah. walked out of squeakies. He knows he's been really unfortunate there with the timing. But when the pressure's mounting outside, you really expose yourself to main when you're pushed on top part. You have to start to back off. And you really don't want to play with fire there. Unfortunately, it costs him Skull Hunter, who did drop down to B earlier on to prevent the outside push. He's now stuck in a one versus three. He does get one, but that's going to be it. It's going to be Rooster with their sixth straight round on T side and well they've uh, confirmed that they're not going to be going on to CT side with uh, a losing score line they're not going to be behind going on to mm -hmm. CT so that's definitely a positive how many more can they get well I think the question isn't how many more Roosters going to get it's how many round wins advantage going to get yeah in very standstill one-way traffic. Very one-way traffic. I mean, they've got digs at the moment. Most likely going to be seven. PJP. Oh, jeez. What a nice one dig from Omi there. How's that for your first kill? Exactly. Going to lift the confidence up. Advantage is hoping that everyone else can do the same thing. Exactly. If you all find a kill, you win the round. You know, you just get one each. Mm -hmm. It's going to be good for you. How hard could it be? How hard can a Molotov be in Hut? Well, apparently very hard. Very challenging as danger. is that first man out once again. No fear. He just tries to find his TV opening, be that selfless player, be the selfless teammate. Unfortunately, though, Skull Hunter's going to be traded out quickly, and B site is taken quickly. Drox on the rotation down, has a teammate with him, but the plant is not going to be stopped. Chelios needs to reposition to make sure it doesn't happen. As now, the Deagles are making a lot of noise. Unfortunately, Vision. Couldn't find ASAP, but Viridian, out of ramp, does have an AK, has the better weaponry. Time's ASAP. No, no He's kit. just playing time at the moment, ASAP, and he knows that. Like, ASAP's just playing time. Might go to double doors. Viridian could win this, but not. Nah, the first shot from Viridian just went a bit wide. I was going to say, great round by Vision there. Vision? It, it, I know. He gets a quick 2k, gives a chance to Viridian, and also not to mention as well, with those two kills in particular, allows Viridian to pick up an AK and potentially make that 1v1 winnable. Only a few positives in the round, you know, Omichella Om gets a, a good confidence frag going, of course Vision gets a few good confidence frags going, and they're going to be looking at this now like, come on guys, this, let's make this competitive, you know, like, we haven't had a good start, but let's, you know, finish the second half of the first half on a good note uh, and let's give these guys a real good test here and that's what they're doing Viridian really pushed up Skeletor's on outers as well but Rooster have snuffed it out jeez these Roosters these cheeky little Roosters they're always calling aren't they they just knew it was just an aggressive outside push or did they just meticulously check that every round and that entire outside aggression has just been picked apart. I 
I have a feeling this could be a 12 nothing scoreline at this stage. Only one or two rounds where Vantage I'm happy were unfortunate to it. lose. I'm happy you said it and not me, because I was thinking yeah. it. But I do feel like I'm being a bit harsh on Vantage, to be fair. You mm -hmm. know, it's, it's not easy. It really isn't easy off the back of how map one ended, you know. They would have been going on to that second half of OT after winning two rounds on CT, feeling excellent, you know. They probably already thought they had it in the bag to some extent. And yep. then you go 0-3 on T side where you completely destroyed Rooster on in regulation. It's just really hard to mentally come back from that. And that's not to say these players aren't mentally strong or anything because no doubt, I mean, they're playing top level CS. You kind of have to be. But it doesn't mm -hmm. matter who you are, what level of CS. Just those step backs are just really tough to handle. And when you're 8-0 down at this point, or 7-0 down, and you're just forced to eco, it's just a salt in the wounds. Definitely. Just definitely. That's going to be 8-0 down now, of course. Could be... Uh, would it be 9-0? No, nah, it won't be 9-0 at this stage, but... Oh, ASAP. He's trying to make it 9-0, actually. He's pushing Don't up. do it to them. Gets rid of both these weapons. He could turn from a buy to a half buy and have taken out Omicella. Much bait coming in. That's a beautiful flash. Trox is not going to even have a chance. And all those weapons taken from Vantage. And they're just like, Roos is like, they just grab the M4 out of Trox's hands and gobble it up as being like, you don't have a gun anymore, okay? Go back oh, no. to the USPs. Oh no, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Oh, he's getting the P90 out. Yeah, you've just destroyed their hopes of getting the save through, and now you're going to come at them with a P90. Expect this to be a nade on squeaky door, and Netic just self-flashes himself, whips out a P90, and just starts spraying with the 50 bullets that he has in that magazine. I say, Fiend's going to like this. Fiend's going to enjoy watching this. The P90 coming out. Favorite weapon? The AU signature weapon? I tell you what's becoming like a common occurrence in UK CS right now is the XM. Oh, the XM is pretty good. Though. It's like quick fire weapon. You get all those closer angles, and you just go. And not only bang. that, like it's very good bonus money when you get a kill with it. Exactly. So, buy rounds, it's good. Anti ecos, it's amazing. Is your strategy? Seven is going to have to be good here. Netics already out with a P90, and there he is. Finds vision. A site clear, and you know what? You said it could be 12 0. I could actually see Netic keeping his P90 for the rest of the half. And also, not to mention that hunting earlier. Vantage didn't have any guns here because of that. Oh, the P90's coming. I gotta say, that strategy with the P90 was bold. They did it exactly as you said, you know, they towards squeaky, they all run through. TJP's just letting Viridian know what is up. But they did exactly what you were going to do. Like they just basically went in there, squeaky door, office hinges, P90 rushes through, all these rifles rush through. Vantage just didn't have a chance. Russo just like, this is it. We're just 2 0 you guys. No more games, only pain. And business, yeah. Pain and business, that's what it is. Yep. And that round was essentially just like a protect the president, you know, like a convoy. Yep. Doing it again? Well, Skyline's at least this wins this time, okay? Yeah, but if Skull Ace. Hunter loses that, I mean, jeez, I, I don't think we can get much worse from there. However, the AWP... He comes their first round. It wasn't clean from Drox, I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> finds its mark, Riddin's waiting, and there you go. Well, the 13-0 is out of the water. Impossible. Can Vantage come out with any more CT round wins of the first half? That's the question. They have pulled out the double orb setup on each other with an orb. Where's he going to play that? Probably ramp. Maybe he rotates towards a site. There he uh, goes. Uh, ramp, ramp. I was going to say, maybe outside. And I saw three running towards ramp. And I'm like, come on. And he's going to go towards outers. I gotta say, you gotta be careful with advantage though, because last time they tried this. Uh oh. No, <laughs> that's unfortunate. He got flashed by his own teammate. 
Oh. Hate to see it. They had it so right that time to be more aggressive on outside instead of being passive because Bruce always check it. But once again, the outside aggression's all gone. It's just deja vu. Omi Chella's had nothing to look at either with his yeah. AWP. Drops on top of the silos. Nut is going to be poked from two different directions. Nick wall bangs him and takes him out. And Omi's all by himself. And now the time ticks away. And in these few short hours, Vantage could be looking at that lower bracket versus the bad news kangaroos. And that's what it seems to be like for them on Nuke. It seems to be just the bad news kangaroos. Chelios picking into Omicella and he misses. And that just sums up their day. Yeah, it definitely sums up this best of three for sure. So close yet so far. Mm-hmm. Good thing for them, though, of course, if they are to go on to lose this again, they have that last chance in the loser's bracket. As you said, we'll be up against the bad news Kangas. Yep. I'm just going to say overall, just uh, what could go wrong has gone wrong for poor Vantage's map. Ooh, and Omichella, you know, he, he's going, going full UK. He's going full UK CS. And uh, turns dying. out the... Uh, Turns out the uh, uh, the uh, limey CS doesn't work in AU. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, UK they go CS, for a lobby crunch. There's a reason why there aren't any good UK teams right now. I'm gonna say, Wix, how about this for a crossfire? One in the entrance of T lobby, and the other from roof. It's like a vertical crossfire. Because Vision goes past that A arrow there. He's gonna be drilled from two different directions, two different axes of directions, horizontally. And vertically. Oh, they got rid of danger, so the vertical crossfire is gone. This is interesting. How are they going to get that bomb to the bomb site? Skullhunter, Skullhunter knows this up. Ooh, good dink, and Skullhunter's going to hold. Does he know that Saps here as well, though? Chedos needs Saps to just help him quickly. Chedos is just going to keep playing bait, you know, just keep throwing off some, like, useless shots in hopes it's going to lure some players towards him. I mean, it worked. ASAP's now out on A. Chelios is pushed outside. Isn't quick enough to find Viridian, though. Now with a bomb drop, 25 seconds left. ASAP needs to find Viridian quickly. Cannot do so. We will be going to the second half very shortly, folks. Don't go anywhere. Can Vantage put it back and get this to a map three? We'll be finding out shortly. Baby, sag, wieso sind wir hier? Kann sein, dass wir den Boden verlieren.
both No We're not the same without rock bottom Welcome back guys to the second half and well that T sided was very rooster sided. You can hear the rooster 2 0 calling right at this moment, Wix, and I'm gonna say vantage. Well, when they're in this advantageous situation on Nubus, they won the pistol. Can they win the pistol here on the T side to keep themselves alive? And it's gonna be just one man that's gonna be stopping them from doing it. That's gonna be danger. He's been huge for a rooster in the first map and a little bit quiet here. Advantage. They're calling all the way up B and Danger can hear the footsteps. TJP. Helping his own little careful. platform. At least be careful he wasn't on the ladder because that's going to really hinder his aim. Yeah, he was stuck on it. He's going to be sticking to it like glue as Drox does get him out of there, but he needs to find four more. Apparently, that's a bug that you can't get stuck on a ladder like that. Oh. ASAP was just like, ASAP was close, like, I've had enough, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna knife him, mate. <laughs> That's the uh, only way this gets even more horrible for Vantage, yeah. is just when they start knifing them. Yeah. Rooster, 11-2, and would not be surprised if we are done within the next three and a half minutes. Because yeah. Rooster have it all to play with now. I reckon two minutes. I'm gonna say it like... that, the fact that as well that Vantage just don't buy here. They're playing for OT and they're back on two rounds. Yep. Ooh, good, good little dink there. And Medic is not hitting any shots. And well, TJP's got the bag seven out. Ooh, missed that second shot there. Ooh. TJP does a lot of damage with this bag seven. Bombs drop the mini, but TJP's eventually going to take it down. Chelios with a good transfer, but danger from behind. Protects his IGO and Chelios. And they get 12 rounds and 10 match points. Omi Cheddar, one kill. Drox, four. Vision, yeah, eight. Been... Viridian, nine. Skullhunter, nine. No one in double digits, Josh. Yeah, I can say Omi Cheddar and uh, Drox have been so quiet this map. And, well, you can see on the scoreboard how quiet it's been. It's just been very tough for Omi Cheddar as well. Like, being that ramp player, when Rooster just aren't really going ramp at all on T. Like, you're constantly playing retake server at that mm -hmm. point. Big opportunity here. They've got the AK, so they've got the superior weaponry here. I'm going to say it's probably going to be their uh, easiest round to win for Vantage, if they do win it, of course. Given that they're dealing with weak weapons, but the next few rounds, it's going to be pistol, then M4s can be quite difficult to deal with it. And one mess up is basically Rooster wins. Angel of the MP9, very strong on this map. Oh, that's a little spot here. Are they going to check it? I don't think they will. It pops up. Oh, miss all the shots and advantage with the advantage. They line up and Angel grabs at least one. And they're in that B site. The B site is the strongest site to hold on Nuke. Um, does go down just before Skull Hunter loses his life. And could this be it in mm -hmm. the upper bracket for Vantage? Four versus Gotta two. Involuntarily, uh, involuntary lead injection there. Good work by Drox there. Strong start. Needs to just keep them busy. Vision opens the door. It's toxic. But Drox can't get the kill. Eventually does. But now it's a 1v1. Chelios versus Drox. Drox, patience of a saint. And oh. beautiful! 22 That's... HP and you find the head. Fair play. Rooster. Yeah, I mean... Squander a match point and...
Four versus two, that was advantage. You're going to have a little bit of confidence here. Probably a few mm -hmm. giggles amongst the squad as well. Like, oh, boys, we have a shot. Lol. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I didn't expect them to win that, to be honest. Like, you know, I thought Vision was going to be the one that winning it, you know, the flank. But uh, Drox out playing as Chelios there with the AK. And only on, like, 20 HP. That's pretty huge. A flashbang goes in on Chelios. Well, repays Drox the favor. Crown jewel shot. Omicheta trying some of uh, Netic's medicine in the P90. Yep. Could have been his downfall, though. But he's not really in, exactly got himself into a position where the P90 is going to be advantageous. He just picked up the AK. He's just like, I've given up. You know, P90 no more. Forget it. Forget it. Forget about it, man. Chaos popping out of secret is just like, hello. Oh, geez, Eddie was caught there. Brilliant. Was caught on his haunches. Then it can be. He's got one transfer beautifully and blasts Vision away. Viridian already dealt with death once. Opens up the door. Chaos. Oh, jeez, that's a cheeky little swing. Dane's got a one dig him, isn't he? Oh, does a lot of damage, Danger. I think he's won the map. Based on all that damage, and they're all coming from him. And Omichella's like, I know, I know. He's dead. Oh, no, he's still alive. He might win this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Not going to be the finish that Vantage would have wanted. And it will be the finish that Rooster would have wanted. A solid 13-3 victory for Rooster is going to send them into an upper bracket. Uh, what would it be? Semi-final or a final? The final itself. Yeah, upper bracket final yep, yep. against Greyhound.